Hey everybody, uh, this is Samsar again, and this is my third battle with Pyrek again. Um, before our second match, I just forgot to record it, and so we just hit third match. So here I lead with the fortress, and he knows I lead with fortress, his jackass, and he lead with his uh, heatran. So, I, so I was breathing a fire blast, but I'm wait. He knows I have a heatran, so he might earth power me. So I switch into my Gyarados, even though he fire blast or earth power, he resisted. Then I was right, and when I go to switch Gyarados, he switched into his Vaporeon, th predicting the waterfall. But during his switch, I switch also for his Zapdos. And he switches to his Heatran, back to, back to his Heatran, and took a Thunderbolt from my Sapdos. And I'm not sure what he was, I thought he was going to Fire Blast me, so I switched to my Heatran to take a Fire Blast for the free Flash Fire. And, but no, but no, he just exploded, so I'm like, okay, fine, be that way. And it took, and I, then he switches to Vaporeon, and I went to my Fortress to take a Surf, or whatever he wanted to do to me. My Fortress didn't take it that well, and I was like, ah, oh, stupid Fortress. So. I was like, okay, before I die, I might as well stealth rock. But hey, I live, and I'm like, oh, perfect. Then I was like, okay, just, just keep this guy alive, and I'll switch to my breathing to take the surf. But he, I thought he outpredicted me in the hidden power, like some weird hidden power of his, like fire or something, but that was weird, weird for Vaporeon, but oh, it was not perfect, it didn't hurt my breathing out. So I sport him, like every other Bloom does, do the same setup over and over again. And I, then he, then I sub just to uh, like all combo again, and he went to Metal Girls, and I was really thinking, oh crap, this guy's gonna ice punch me. Well, whatever, I'm gonna sub anyway. Might as well just focus punch him. I hope he dies because it, it does quite a amount of damage on this uh, Metal Girls for for neutral damage. So I was right. He ice punched me, breaks my sub, and I focus punch him. But uh, this Metal Girls doesn't die. I was like, oh my god. So I was like, oh, okay, whatever. So just just do my scissor just to finish it off. Maybe I could set up or something, but I remember from the last match, he had a Magnum Zone, so I'm like, oh crap, quickly switch out with, switch out when he switched out. So, I'm predicting that he's switching in with his Magnum Zone, so I switch out at the same time, switching my Heatran. Here, I showed a Fire Blast, but I didn't want to miss because I think he's going to kill me, so I just Earth Power for the kind of and he switches Gengar, and I'm not sure what Gengar he has, so I'm like, okay, you know what? Fortress, it's time for he dies to see what he has. This guy always moves. So he empowers me, and it was not very effective. So I was like, okay, what, what would Gengar have for hidden power? I, I was thinking, maybe the ice. So I switched to Scizor, because I know he has no feeling about fire. And I thought I would have, like, I should have guessed that he was switching to Magnezone, but I was being an idiot, so. He switches his Magnezone and my Scizor is stuck here and he's going to be completely useless to this guy. And he just hit empowers me. I, I, so he empowers me fire, pretty sure it's fire, because it's the only weakness Scizor have. And he kills my Scizor. I'm like, oh, lame. So I switched my Zapdos, uh, going for a heat wave. And so he predicted that for sure, that's pretty obvious. And we're switching his Gengar. And so, so I thought, oh, sweet. And he kind of lost some of his HP, and he was he was kind of life orb, so hope he dies. But he doesn't. He just loses some HP enough to take. Before he dies, he just shadow balls my Zapdos, which was really really annoying in some ways. So I thought it was good. So I was like, okay, whatever. Then he switches to Salamats. I'm like, ah, oh, lame. But we didn't know that Salamats was Uber that time, so we're like, oh, cr we didn't know. So it wouldn't really matter anyway. So we just treat him like OU anyway. He's not like a huge deal, to be honest. So he just outrages me, and I realized his life form. Oh, perfect! And I kind of had a plan here, but I, I clicked the wrong button. Was being it. my plan was supposed to switch into Breloom as Death Father, so he could life or damage himself. And I was switching my Gyarados back in to intimidate him. And I know my Gyarados will live with two intimidates down him, so I could Dragon Net and finish off his Salamence with Waterfall, even though it's not very effective. But you know what? I didn't. I Waterfall and got myself killed. So. A waterfall, and I live with one outrage. I'm like, oh, cool. Maybe I'll get some confused hacks, but of course I didn't. This is what I deserve for hoping for hacks. And I switched to Breloom, hope for more hacks, but I guess not because uh, this is what I get for predicting hacks. So I know I'm just giving up this game already. He outrages me, and he just gives my Breloom. Now he's he's dying. He's going to not lose someone more. And my, this is my last Pokemon, so I'm like, oh, mine is our Earth Power. And because he has like Magnezone, Metagross, and Vaporeon left. So there's Earth Power and then Zalmus kill himself. Here goes this is Metagross. I'm like, oh, 
Nice. I might win and kill these guys. And he's a scarf mother girl something. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. But he misplayed really badly and he meteor mashed me for nothing, which he told me he has earthquake. I'm like, I'm like okay, why didn't you just do that? And I brought him to me down to 8 HP and that was if you pour on. If you pour wakes up, I'm gonna lose. And I was found him, did no, almost no damage to this Vaporeon. I'm like, okay, this is a good game, he's gonna win this one. So, it's gonna be like a 4 hit KO, I guess, or like 3 hit KO. And I hit him, and he's not even taking the, the damage. I'm like, oh crap, he's gonna wake up before that. But this Earth Power kind of critted him, which kind of, I guess, gave me game because, like, he would wake up if I lost, lost one more Earth Power, but I guess not. Now I'm faster than him, now I'm finishing his Vaporeon off. Now his last Pokemon is Magnezone, and of course his Magnezone is not Scarf, I am Scarf, so I'll speed him, and this is how I win. Uh, sorry Pyrek for the op for the HP, Heatran, we kind of both misplayed. Um, good game though, we'll play it more later after we play some League of Legends, but anyways, thank you for watching, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and bye!